Thanks for joining me today as we create some border punches and use them in different ways. I have this new piece of equipment, but you certainly could use any type of border die sets. I'm Jen Lee and thanks for crafting with me today. Okay, so I purchased a We Are Memory Keepers border punch system and I'm going to unbox it for you and let you see what I think of it. So it's called a border punch alignment guide. And then the reason why I purchased this is some border punches really are hard to keep them aligned basically and so I thought this would be a great idea. I also got it on a great sale at Michael's in the United States and it came with this one border punch and this particular border punch is the mosaic border punch. In some cases they call it edge punch. So it has a magnetic strip which is going to hold on to the paper and then you have to put the border punch itself in. It's a little bit confusing because you'd think it would go the, this way but you actually have to see that the, the top part of it has edges, sharp edges, and then the bottom is cor the bottom corners are rounded. So that's how you know which way it goes in but you'll see throughout this that I forget every time. Then you push the paper in until it hits both on both sides of the border punch and you push down the flap and it has magnet to keep it still. As you can see there, this is not for the weak handed person. Uh, it was actually quite a bit and I believe this is 80 pound, but it's craft paper. I wanted to use this so you could see it so it's a little bit darker paper. And then when you push it over, it kind of clicks into place. It's not perfect because it will move past it, but you can see it kind of, you could feel it and it kind of has like a slight little click. And so you keep pushing it down and look how beautifully it aligns. I was really happy with this. It has a beautiful little border. Now it's quite a bit bigger than I thought. So those, that border is, probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches. So it's a pretty good size border. And so here's kind of one piece I didn't like about it is that all the little bits kind of fall underneath. Uh, so, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You just wipe them off your craft space, but I would have thought that maybe they could have had like a little tray uh, to catch the little bits. So that's the first one. And again, I thought it was nice that it had one that came with the system. And I believe I paid and I'll double check this and put it in the video, but I think I paid, I think it was originally like $36 and I believe I got it for 25 or 30% off. So again, I'm just showing you here that you, you kind of got to follow the sharp edges on the top and the rounded edges on the bottom and then you should be pretty good. So now I'm trying to do it the opposite way just so we could try it and see what happens when you go from the other direction. So again, I'm going to shut that so the magnet keeps it in place. And then here I'm using the Tropical Flowers Edge Punch. And you'll see here that this is actually a full die. So it calls it an Edge Punch. And uh, just to be clear, so in some places I see it called an Edge Punch, and in other places I see it called a Border Punch. But this one is completely cut away from the paper. And you'll see there's really only one that I have here that actually keeps it attached to the paper, and the rest of these cut it away from the paper. And I actually really like this one. So this one's called Tropical Flowers Edge Punch. And I thought that was super pretty. Not what I expected, but super pretty. I did get all the border punches as well on sale. And they range anywhere from, I saw them as low as like 14 or $15 US dollars to anywhere to $18. But again, I got these on sale. I got all of them from Michaels except for the heart punch. The heart punch I got on Amazon. So you see I'm gonna, gonna put another one in here. I put it in wrong again. It's one of those things where it's just my brain cannot process that the the punch part it looks like it should be towards the top because that's where the punch happens. It's just a little bit deceiving and it's funny. I've watched some other people with this product which is why I bought it and they all had the same problem. This one was a little bit interesting because it kept popping out when I'd push it down and you can kind of see that happening and so it almost won't move over so I think it's not really punched but it's because it like so I think I don't know if I had this in wrong or what the situation was but I was struggling with this one see how it popped again right out of the little controller but the good news is even though it po popped out it did not cause the punch to be 
misaligned. And so this one is this is the original one again, so I just wanted to run that back through and see what it looked like on the other side. I will be creating cards uh, when we're done kind of showing you this little machine. Just to save some time, I punched a bunch of these out. So this one I'm showing here is the heart edge punch. This might be my favorite between that and the tropical flowers. Those two are kind of a tie. <laughs> The hearts one is pretty because you'll see later I'm able to cut out one of the hearts and then give it a little dimension. So it's a just, it's a pretty one. It's one of those you could use for Valentine's Day or just any time you want to have a feminine pretty love card. So now I'm going to put them all side by side with their border punch. So you can see each one and what the border looks like once you punch it out. So again, this is the mosaic that came with it. And this is the only one I have at the time that is keeps it attached to the paper. So that's truly like the only border one in my opinion. The other ones really are almost like die cuts. And this is the same one. I just cut it. I cut it off the bottom of the paper just because I wanted to see what it looked like. And this is the Tropical Flowers this is the third one. That's probably my runner up for my favorite. I thought that was really pretty. And you'll see later I actually cut one of the sections out and it came out real pretty. And then this last one is called Diamonds Edge Punch. And that one's kind of basic for me for probably my least favorite was the diamonds one, but you can do a lot with it. I would say that the diamonds one is the only one I had an issue with. And you can see here that the punch on the mechanism itself makes it look like it's going to be about a half an inch when they're actually more like an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Also, you do have to put a full sheet of paper in here, so you can't put like just a little piece of a cardstock in there. So that's probably the other thing because it has to grab onto it right there with that magnet. So I would say that's the only other thing is like you have to use a whole sheet in order to cut something out. So if you have a little piece of design paper or something like that, it may not work if they're small. The diamond edge punch, the tropical flowers, the mosaic which came with it, and then the top one is the hearts edge punch. And you can see with the mosaic, see it's a full sheet. So I cut it out so I could show it here, but it is a full sheet. It just truly cuts out the edge, this mosaic. And then I did have a problem with the diamond one, and I don't know if it was user error or if it was the machine, but it cut like little stars in that one little section between my fingers. And the rest of it's all diamonds, but that's little stars somehow. So I don't know, I can't see it in the bottom. So I don't think it's the mechanism because it only had it in one part. So all those other cuts were fine. So it's probably a user error. Maybe I didn't move over far enough. These are all the pretty borders. And again, I made it all in one color just to make it easy against the color of my craft area. So next I wanted to show you some of my pros and cons. It's kind of a big piece of equipment. Uh, it does take some arm strength and I used some craft paper. You can put some of these punches inside of the machine when you do store it. So this is how I store it, but they do fall through. So it's not like they're sitting inside of it. They're just setting there and when I pick it up, you know, those wouldn't stay inside of the machine, but it's nice that you can store it and they all kind of nestle in there. One of the cons I would say of this is that it doesn't lend to what your imagination would think. You would think that the punch wouldn't be looking upside down like that. So here's some of the cards that I made and just to keep this video from being too terribly long, I made them off screen with uh, my We Are Memory Keepers Border Punch Alignment Guide. And this first one is the mosaic punch that came with it. And I used the bigger piece that you saw just a minute ago and I put a little bit of ink on the edges of it just to give it a little bit more dimension. I set the second one there next to it and I had cut that all off and I just put it on a piece of design paper that only had an image on the far left side. I think that came out really pretty. You could put a bunch of those together and give it a lot of dimension or pop one up on some foam tape and I think that would be really pretty. The next one I used for a confirmation card. I was trying to create a cross and I thought that came out really pretty and then you couldn't see the issue I had with that little star piece and I just put again a piece of design paper behind it to make it look like a fairly masculine card. The next one is the tropical flowers border punch and I just put that simply in the middle of a piece of design paper and I just love that one. I think that one is super pretty. You could use some Nouveau drops and then I cut that little piece out and I thought that looked real pretty on the inside too. And then the last one I wanted to show is the hearts edge punch because that, as you saw before the long sheet so it had kind of the two in the middle there and there were also two on the edges plus the half punches. 
And so I cut out that middle one and I put a little bit of the design paper behind it so that you wouldn't see the other craft paper underneath it. And I popped it up on some foam tape and I think it looks really pretty. And you can see here that I did create a 70th birthday card as well. So I do love this punch. I think it keeps the paper in place well. I like the beauty of the punches and I like that you can feel where it catches so it's a very nice and consistent. Some of the cons is you have to use a full sheet. It's fairly expensive. There's no catch for those little bits. That It's a little bit deceiving that you think that they're going to be truly border punches when they're actually cutting it directly out of the paper. So I think that's a little bit deceiving maybe. And then I think the design where you have to turn those punches around is a little tough too. Okay, those of you that waited this long, there is an additional punch that I ordered and it just came in after I had recorded this. So I wanted to get it in real quick so you could see it because this is actually beautiful. This is called the floral edge punch and I'm going to use the same kind of card stock so that you guys can see it. This is actually craft paper. I think it's about 80 pound craft paper and I'm speeding this up a little bit but still not easy to punch it use that arm strength and then this one I'm trying to make sure I feel the click and so this one is a true border punch again so I have now two true border punches you could certainly cut it where that little edge is there but I think this one is really pretty floral it's called floral edge so you throw some of the other punches on there and I think this makes a, a great addition to the other ones I have again it's about twice the size as what it shows on the punch piece itself but this one has a lot of detail and I think it's super pretty all right so I cut part of this off enough to fit a card base and you can see if you use different colors it shines through real real pretty there the white shows through real nice and then you could put anything you want on the left side there to really finish off this card so all in all i was very happy with this again it has some pros and some cons but i appreciate you hanging out with me today and watching me create some beautiful cards with this new edge punch to border punch whatever you want to call it if you enjoyed this please give me a like and also it would be mean a lot if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when i create new content which is twice weekly. I usually do one card and then one on another topic, typically dogs or RV travel. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.